So here is my latest order of materials. Um, as you can see, this is pretty much all I will need for all my side walls and front and rear wall. So a bunch of lumber, mostly two by six because my walls are gonna be two by six. Then I'm sending on some half inch um, sheathing, which is gonna be what I'm gonna be putting on the walls. I also got windows. I'm only showing you two here. I did buy six total. Um, the small one would be will be going at the front and then I'll have four total, which will go on each side. Um, and then I got a bunch of miscellaneous items as usual. I also got some building wrap, which will go on the outside of the building once the sheathing is in place. To attach the building wrap, I have um, gotten some plastic cap nails. I got some shim that will be when I have to place the windows. Uh, this caulk here is also what I need to use when I'm going to be placing the windows. This is also for the windows. It's, it's all the flashing tape that I will need for the installation. I will also use one and three quarter of inch roofing nails, which is what I'm going to be using to install the flanges of the windows and attach it to the framing. And then this is just a lot of uh, more nails, obviously. So some, just some three, uh, three and a quarter inch for framing purposes. And then I think this is two and three eighths, which will be for inch installing the sheathing into place. So money wise, last time that I updated the money counter, we were at $55. $75. The six windows were about $900 and all this framing here that you see and all this uh, miscellaneous items I think was about $2,500 and you know all this big stack of lumber as well. So I think right now we're going up to almost $9,000 for our money counter at this point. You really don't need to go to the gym if you move wood like this, I can tell you that much. This is some outwork. work, don't forget to hydrate yourself with some delicious sparkling water. Ooh. Ooh. So here it is, we're finally ready to start building some walls. Um, I mean, I just moved most of the wood I will need to build one wall. So I'm going to start with this side wall over here uh, on the outer side of the cabin. So by now you should know that I always come prepared and I always come with a plan. So I drew the wall that I need to build. So let's, uh, let, me, let me show you what I did. So here is the left wall framing. So if you were sitting on the other side of the cabin, looking at it, that's what you would see. So that's the front and that's the rear. And those are the two window opening. So that's why I bought my windows because I wanted to know exactly what roof opening I was gonna need. Uh, because something you should know is that windows come in all sorts of sizes. They can be custom made. So it's not, there's not really a common size. You can see here, I mean, this is gonna be a two by six wall. Um, I'm adding uh, four studs here at the ends that's uh, to be able to frame the corner later on where the front wall is going to go uh, but then apart from that you know it's going to be on typical stud at 16 inches on center and then here um, at the opening so i have two windows which i'm going to uh, frame separately because you know you would have to make a custom order to get one big window and right now lowe's is literally making you wait three or four months to get it so for that reason i bought whatever they had in stock so i bought two windows so some of you have asked about the blueprint that i keep flashing around and i've been using on all my videos and i decided to make you know part of this set available to you so you just have to go to a landing page that i just set which is uh, the diycabinguide.com forward slash blueprint and then you'll just have to enter your information and you will receive an email with a link to uh, the set of, uh, of blueprint so I hope this will be helpful to you and will allow you to you know help you follow what I'm doing all right let's go back to building so those are 12 foot long and they will be making the bottom and top plate of the wall and then all of these are just my typical two by six studs and I'm gonna need a lot of them to make one wall. Okay, so the first order of business is that I wanna make sure that my sheathing is perfectly flush with the beam. And you can see probably from that angle that I have part of the sheathing still sticking out a little bit. I got the jigsaw and I'm gonna try and <laughs> not make a mess. So 
So the first step is going to be to lay the bottom plate. The wall is going to be 18 feet long. So I got 12 footers, which I'll just cut wherever I need to. Now I can measure 71 and a quarter. next to this one make sure that everything looks good so just to be clear we're gonna build the wall flat obviously and then it will be raised up uh, right now I lay down my bottom plate I'm gonna secure it temporarily with screws because I want to mark the location of every single stud we're gonna fasten it down and we're gonna put the bottom plate as well and so then we can mark everything up that way and it will make for a much easier uh, building experience of that wall I'm just going to be using some three inch screws, which again are going to be removed. This is just temporarily. And another one right here at the end. Same thing for this small piece. Okay, so now I'm really gonna rely on my drawing and I need to mark up every single stud location. Here is how you go about it. Um, this is actually flipped because this is looking at it this way. So that's the front is this corner here. So I know I have four studs here, which are gonna make my corner. Four stud is four times 1.5, which is six inches. So I can go ahead and I mean, if you want, you can mark, you know, first stud is one and a half, then three, then four and a half, and then six. So I know that the next stud after the fall pack is gonna be 16 inches. So you just measure from this end 16 inches to here. And I know that will be the backside of that stud. So then I just came back another one and a half to know that my stud will be here. And then I just follow my plan. I know after that, that the spacing is four inches. And I, it's better to keep taking your measurements from the end, because if you keep, if you start measuring in between, you're just potentially accumulating errors. So right now I know that I have four inches to the next stud. So one, two, three, four at 26. And so the stud itself is gonna be one and a half inch. So I have two king stud, so that's one and then another one and a half inch. That's my other king stud. And then I have two jack studs. So another one and a half and another one and a half. That's a king stud, that's a king stud. And that's, well, that's a bad J, but all right. So we then keep going. So again, based on the plan. So right now we just mark those false studs, this stud, the two king studs are the one going all the way from the bottom to the top. And the two jack studs are going from the bottom plate to the bottom of the header. Um, so we mark those as well. So now you can see here, I have another little stud that's gonna be under this uh, seal plate um, for the window. But first, so, and this is when you need to know what window you got. I know that my window is 32 inches wide rough opening. So that's when, that's what I'm about to mark up. So I know that from the jack stud, I have a 32 inches opening. Right now I'm already at 32, so I'm gonna go all the way to 64. You know, I decided that I would put four studs in between the two windows. Here I'm at 64, three more like here. And then I'm gonna have four studs. So here's one, and then here's two, and then three, and then four. Okay, so I'm still missing a few because this is the bottom plate we're marking. I also have to show those little ones here that are gonna be below the window. So I know for sure I have one on each side pretty much. So I know I'm gonna have one here uh, and then I'll have one somewhere in the middle and then another one right butting against. We were at 64 and so you know, you just mark one and a half. So that's that stud. Uh, and then I have to do the same thing over there. So we just keep going. If this is not super clear to you, don't freak out. Once we put the wall together, it will make so much more sense. So just bear with me here for now. We just mark, this is, remember, this is our stud pack in between the windows. So now I am marking another, um, you know, another window opening. Because as I told you, I have two windows. Okay. So those were the four. So we're at 70 and right now from 70 i have to write uh, my 
typical opening, which is uh, 32 inches. So that's taking me to 102 here. And then I know that I will have another small one on the inside of the jack stud. So I'm just mocking it up now, like here. And I can do the same thing. There's another one that will go right here to support the bottom of the windowsill. So I can go ahead and mock that up. So just as we did before, we're now back to the end here. So I have to mark um, two jack stud and two king studs. So we're at 102, that's the opening. And then I'm gonna have one jack stud, another jack stud, one king stud, and another king stud. And so that's it. We are now here on the outer edge of that window, uh, those window openings. So now we're only, we're just doing 16 inches on center all the way to the end. All right, so another 16 inch and a half. So that might 140 right now. 140 plus 16, 156. Mark that one up. Go forward one and a half inch. 188. And that's it. Last stud is here. And then here again, I'm gonna have a fall pack so that I can tie my corner into. One and a half, three, four and a half, six. And that's it. So now that I just finished marking up my bottom plate, let me put my top plate on it and see where it lands. I'm deciding that I'm gonna break my top plate somewhere here so then it can be fully supported directly on the header. So because the header is gonna be pretty long, I can really decide to cut it wherever I want. Like for example, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna cut it at eight foot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach that top plate to that bottom plate so that I can match all my markings. And for that, I'm just using a, a two inch deck screw that's again, temporary. So 10 and three eighths. So now all we're doing is really just to transpose all those measurements from one to the other. Gotta look at the plans because not all the marks from the bottom plate will go to the top plate. For example, jack studs, then here at the header. So jack stud will not be marked on the top plate. So the top plate will just have the studs that go all the way up, which is the king studs, the typical studs, and the corner studs. Because I'm gonna start building um, the window openings flat. So one king. Oh man, that one is bowed like crazy. I'm gonna try and find good studs at least for the window. And another key. I'm gonna go ahead and build this header here. This header is six foot, four inches long. It's gonna be two by 10. It's gonna be three two by 10. Three two by 10 is only four and a half inch wide, but the wall itself is gonna be five and a half. So that's why here, I'm gonna use some of the Affish OSV to sandwich in between the header. So the header will be one ply of two by 10, OSV, two by 10, OSV, two by 10. And this whole thing together will be five and a half inch, which is exactly the width of the wall. Ah. One. I need to cut two pieces which are going to be the size of a two by ten. Nine and a quarter. one ply and then a spacer and then a second ply and then the last ply. So once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and uh, nail it together. And so you'll have to do that on both sides because uh, the nails are not deep enough to go through everything. So here I just have a little bit of the plywood is sticking out a little, so not a big deal. 
So I went ahead and uh, placed my header in between the king stud. So what you want to make sure now is that obviously the header is going to be perfectly perpendicular to the king stud. That looks pretty good. So I had some leftovers GRK screws. So I'm going to use these to all that. Huh. So the next step now is that we're going to place a flat 2x6 here below the header. So I'm so sorry to cut it off here, but that's all I got for this week. Um, I'll make this episode actually in two parts. So make sure to click the link here, which will take you to part two as soon as I have it available. All right, thank you guys.